Even Anthony Palercio is shopping with us for the next 25 minutes or so, and we're thrilled that you are. Um, we're actually going to talk about something that we have talked about a couple times in our show and a lot of you guys have pre-ordered and you're asking to oh. see live on air. So here you have it. This is the most amazing cross jewelry. If, you, if you've never shopped anything in the Michael Anthony jewelry collection, this is a moment for you truly to experience something that is spectacular that nobody else is doing. This is the Nativity Stone Angel Wing cross jewelry. I've got a bracelet. I have the most amazing pendant with chain as well. Let Let's talk about, yes, this is set in surgical grade stainless steel. Yes, this is so incredibly detailed and intricate, but it is about that stone in the center, Anthony. Well, the nativity stone is very, very unique. You know, I, I often say it's more precious than a diamond because diamonds are mined around the world. Mm -hmm. Diamonds could be had in many different configurations, but the nativity stone only comes from one place the actual birthplace of Christ, which is the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. It's very well documented. I was fortunate to meet the family of a man named Stanley Slotkin, yeah. who was given these stones back in 1963 because he was an archeologist. And whenever he did any work in the area, he would always bring it to the church and say, does this have any religious significance? If so, I'd rather give it to you. I don't want it on the market. I don't want to send it back to the United States because he had his own collection. And ultimately, they, he saw them doing this renovation because the, the actual crypt or the, the they call it the, um, the chamber room, mm -hmm. that room the original room was only 20 by 20 feet, very small. So when they built the church on top of it, originally it was a very small church. Yeah. So because there are so many Christians in the world, I mean, there were a lot of people when you add up the numbers, mm -hmm. they constantly had to make the church larger and larger. Okay. Now it's several thousand feet. Love it. Down there. And they, they opened up this wall and they gave him the stones there's a certificate of authenticity that comes with each and every piece. Yeah. It's like a miniature affidavit. We've got some footage that we can actually show you, but these are two of my most favorite, favorite pieces. Oh my gosh. People love angels. People love the nativity stone. And when we combined the two, I mean, this was just the home room. That is the church of the nativity. Okay. Here's the, the, an image. That's actually one of the caves in the surrounding areas. And Christ was born in a cave just like that. Wow. And ultimately they built that church on top of it. And they still use, that's the chamber room, but that's the new addition. The, the original room, you go in through that little door. Oh, wow. And it's a very small room. Oh, yeah. So they see. had to open up the chamber because thousands and thousands of people visit there every year. The now same, you have part of that. The same way that people started visiting that site from the day Jesus was born. Mm -hmm. That's why it's indisputable that that is the location. Well, let's talk about what you're getting home today. First of all, the amazing cross is one in 15, 16 inches in the length. You get the 18 inch chain with a two inch extender. It does come with the lifetime warranty and the certificate of authenticity. The bracelet is amazing. It's seven and a half inches in the length with the lifetime warranty as well. You can see the cross just kind of curves ever so slightly. So the way that it sits on your wrist is so comfortable. It has a beautiful presence. You're getting either one or both. They were originally $49 and 95 cents so and think about what you're getting in the value there they are marked down for our show to 34 dollars and 95 cents and on two interest free credit card i've payments never as seen well. yeah think about for yourself but also think about what this could mean as a gift to somebody in your life right now right actually i've i told you the one story about the woman who lost the mother and her sister in december oh, and she God. she was thanking me for having created the Nativity Cross, she said it gave me such inspiration mm. and I was able to deal with that grief. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta That's take a deep breath. Right. But read the testimonials. I do it periodically just to see what people are saying. Um, and you go on hsn.com and under you know, different nativity pieces, you can read them. 
But I can only tell you from the people I've given pieces to and the people that I know that wear them, what their, you know, experiences, experiences. have been. Yeah. And it's just a great way to help someone when they're maybe going through the most difficult times of their lives. It's a great way to celebrate your faith. Yes. Uh, it's a great way to give someone something that is really priceless. Yeah. At such an affordable price. It really it's is. I mean, and it does become the ultimate conversation piece, you know, that when someone grabs your hand at the grocery store or just, you know, wants to know more about that piece. And then when literally you have that moment where you tell somebody what that stone is, I have, I have it's mind-blowing. two grandchildren. One is 11 and one is 10. They're both boys. And they know all about it. I've given them one each. Sure. They know. They know exactly what they're going to do. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Fun. Take a look at the bracelet. I mentioned that it's just kind of curved ever so slightly. So the way that this sits atop your wrist is so perfect. Um, this is also very intricate. Talk to us about the detail on the cross because this well, one's extra special. Every one of these designs starts out originally with a drawing. Yeah. You have to have a concept of what it is that you want to make. Mm -hmm. Then in some cases we use a computer to actually design the original. That takes a little more time and a little more money. There are certain pieces that we can still make by hand, yeah. but not generally. There are other pieces that we may carve directly into a wax, a piece that we don't want as much intricacy. This happens to have this beautiful scroll work and that right. mill grain finish. Look at that. Right. Yeah, years ago, you know, these type pieces were only for the rich. There was no such thing. Well, only till like past World War II yeah. were, did when they invented, actually it wasn't an invention, it was the use of uh, the investment wax casting. And everything goes back to the aviation industry, the automotive industry, because they're the ones that need parts replicated with a lot of accuracy inexpensively. So investment loss wax casting started right around, right after World War II in the United States and pretty much lingered. You know, and it got a little bit better here and there, but you were still relegated to only what you could do by hand. Hmm. I was the one that took and rifled, but I also had the power to put a million dollars invested in the use of computers. Yeah. Now you hear about 3D printing. Well, I was doing that 35 years ago. Right. And I took the computers that the automotive and the avi aviation industry, because yeah. I said, if they're doing that, I should be able Brilliant. to make jewelry Brilliant. better than any of my competitors. And ultimately I did. And I today, it. if you don't use that technology, you're almost not in business. You can't compete. I mean, that Period. just is so incredible to, to even think about. Well, uh, mm -hmm. congratulations to you.